Hello, my name is Adam Varga, and today I will be providing the biomechanics of a slap shot. A slap shot is a type of shot used in hockey. It is described to be a very powerful, fast-moving shot of the puck on goal made with the full backswing of the stick, and which includes an extended follow-through. In terms of force, it is the hardest shot in hockey. The hardest slap shot recorded was by Zidane Char of the Boston Bruins, which came up to be 108.8 miles per hour. Due to the rigorous motion, it is less accurate. It has a long wind-up, which takes longer to execute. It cannot be performed while under pressure. It is easy to learn and hard to master. There are many different aspects and movements occurring at one time. The biomechanic principles are very important when a player is taking a slap shot because they are using their whole body. There are a lot of stages and elements that go into taking a successful and effective slap shot. There are four stages of movement in the slap shot, and which includes stance, preparation, action, and follow through. In the first stage of stance, from a skating position, a player will align the puck by having it in front of their body, while keeping a dominant wide stance. In this stage, most of the body stays neutral, with a slight bend in the knees and a neutral flexion in the elbow and slight supination in the radial ulnar. In stage two of taking a slap shot, which is preparation, the knees must continue to be slightly bent, feet shoulder width apart, slightly hunched over the puck, and the bottom hand should be halfway down the stick or more. The arms should also be extended outward. The backswing, aka the windup, is also part of the preparatory phase. Here, the stick should be raised shoulder width or higher, swung across the body, across the horizontal axis, and not behind your back. The weight should be transferred forward, back foot to front foot. As you can see in this photo, the knees are slightly bent with there being an external rotation in the right shoulder girdle and a flexion in the left elbow. In the third phase of action, there are force producing movements that are involved. A player should make contact with the ice two to three inches before the puck while keeping the bottom arm straight and the top arm slightly bent. You must also transfer the body weight into the stick, causing there to be more energy and a harder shot. After those steps, you make contact with the puck with an open blade on the heel of the blade and continue to swing your stick toward the target. Then you push off with your back leg toward the target and also pivot hips and feet. In this stage, the right shoulder joint is experiencing adduction, while fingers on both hands have flexion from gripping the stick and exerting power. Last but not least, the final stage of a slap shot is the follow through. Here you turn your blade over and point at your target to guide the puck off of your stick with accuracy. Back leg should be extended and whole body should be facing toward the target. In the follow through, the right shoulder girdle is in protraction and the right elbow is also extended. The hockey slap shot occurs through multiple planes of a body. In the stage of action, the shoulder joint moves through the transverse plane around the longitudinal axis into the frontal plane. An effective slap shot includes a detailed movement through each axis to produce the greatest force and success. In addition to the four stages of a slap shot, there is muscle action that helps generate power and force. These muscles include the trapezius, deltoid, external oblique, latissimus dorsi, and bicep femoris. The trapezius is a very important factor in a slap shot as it produces strength and power. When a player winds up for a shot, these muscles go into concentric contraction. During the preparatory phase, the deltoid is in concentric contraction, and when it follow throughs, it relaxes. The external oblique rotates the torso from the preparatory phase into the follow through of a slap shot. The latissimus dorsi is also very important as it concentrically contracts in the preparatory phase and in the action phase, the other side of the muscle contracts and forces the body into the follow through. The bicep femoris is located in the back of the leg and concentrically contracts in the extension of a follow through. In the biomechanics of a slap shot, there are many movements and muscle actions that work together in order to create an effective and successful slap shot.